You are welcome to our Saturday meditation on this Holy Week 2021. After all that's happened in just a, a few days in the first Holy Week and in just a few hours on that first Good Friday, now we have the expression of intimate assurance. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you took on your shoulders the crushing weight of human sinfulness and nailed it to a cross. You endured the full force of human hatred and overcame it with love. You entered the apparent finality of death and through it opened the way to life. You took on the powers of evil and triumphed over them through good. To you be praise and glory, now and forever. Thank you, Lord, that even in the darkest days of life, in the bleak chill of death, you are there bringing new beginnings. For your life-giving power, beyond containment, receive our praise. Amen. Well, just before I, I hand over uh, to J. John, let me remind you of our Easter celebration tomorrow, Sunday, at 11 a.m. The church will be open. Yes, there will be the mitigations in place, but the church will be open. You're welcome to join us in person or indeed on the live stream. Uh, the, the excitement of, of gathering together on Easter Sunday uh, is significant. <laughs> Uh, we'll also have the opportunity of sharing together in, in the special presentation we've been working on called He's Alive. Uh, we've done this in conjunction with the Played by Ear Theatre Company. As well as that, we have a few special guests uh, who will be joining us uh, by video, it has to be said. But however you're going to join us, do make a point. Uh, you'll be most welcome as you join in our community celebration of Easter. But now we pass over uh, to J. John. The seventh word from the cross. We read in Luke's Gospel that on the cross Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. After the physical, psychological and spiritual agony that is shown by most of the seven sayings from the cross, this last one blesses us by its difference. It is a simple, quiet and gentle prayer. Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. In Jewish tradition, these words were used as an evening prayer before going to sleep. So its use here is even more appropriate. Once more, Jesus is quoting a Psalm, this time Psalm 31 verse five, into your hands, I commit my spirit but has added to it that personal little word, Father. The addition of Father to these words is typical of Jesus, and the result is a prayer of almost childlike trust. On the cross, everything has been battled and fought, but now, that appalling storm has blown over. The torment, the agony, the separation, all are now ended. Jesus' work is done. And as death creeps over him, the darkness that has descended on the world lifts. The return of the trusting word for God Father is a quiet confirmation 
that the appalling, unfathomable gap between father and son that existed on the cross is now ended. There is unity once more between father and son. Jesus knows that what will be wrapped around him soon are not just grave clothes, but his father's embrace. There is reunion now, and soon there will be resurrection. We have seen how we can personally identify with many of the words of the cross. We can do this here. This is a good prayer for every difficult and uncertain time in life. If you have come to know God as Father through Christ, then it is an appropriate prayer at the start and end of any day, before any danger and before sleep. It is even more appropriate before death because of what Jesus did on the cross, whatever we face, even the grave itself, we can commit ourselves securely and confidently into the Father's hands. Ponder this, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. A prayer. Lord, thank you that whatever we face today and in the future, we can be confident that you are with us. Help us to go out in this knowledge and to carry your presence to our world. Amen. that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind.